Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with an absolutely terrific disc of three contemporary cello concertos, really good ones, by Martineau, Hindemith, and Honegger. I mean, just they go so well together, actually. They're, none of them are terribly long here. It's a 63-minute disc featuring cellist Johannes Moser, who's absolutely splendid, with the Deutsche Radio Philharmonie Saarbrücken and Kaiserslautern, which does a lot of stuff like that, under Christoph Poppen on the Hensler Classic label. And boy, this is a nice record. It really is. It's just delightful. Uh, I did a talk on Walton's Hindemith Variations recently. Um, it was his if I could only preserve one work by this composer, which would it be? And that was the one. It's just an incredible masterpiece. And the theme for the intimate variations is the slow movement of this cello concerto. And a couple of you said, where do I find Hindemith's cello concerto and which one is it? Well, there's only one Hindemith cello concerto that's called the cello concerto. The other one, there is another one, but it's part of his Kammermusik series. So this is the cello concerto from 1940. I mean, that's, that's the only designation it has. And it has an absolutely beautiful theme for the slow movement. A wonderful, warm melody full of Hindemithy things in it. I mean, I talked about the tune extensively with the Walton. And, and then it has like a scherzo in the middle. And then, because this is Hindemith, he combines the two at the end. You hear the beautiful melody on top and the zippy scherzo thing on the bottom and it's just delicious but that's just the middle movement the rest of it is just as good it's a, a major work and it never gets played of course not why would it get played just because it's great music i mean really so thank you johannes moser for learning it and performing it so nicely now there's also here martin new's first cello concerto now he wrote two the second is sort of a a big kind of sprawling, romantic cello concerto type thing. And I vastly prefer the first. I really do. The second is very beautiful, but it has its dead spots. The first is from his concerto grosso period, his more brittle neoclassical period. And so it's perkier and zippier and shorter, much shorter, 24 minutes. Oh my goodness, it's a lot shorter. It's typical Martineau from that period, the, you know, the 30s, 20s and 30s. It's, it's spiky and 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 exciting and hugely syncopated and full of characterful ideas it's just wonderful and it's again it's a piece that nobody knows it never gets played i say it over and over again there's no reason for it there is a reason however for the honiger there is a reason and the reason is that it's only 13 minutes long you know there's a whole bunch of concertos a lot of them are french that are incredibly brief like Roussel's Piano Concerto, that's also like 13 minutes long. I mean, how can you write a three-movement work that's that short and expect it ever to be played in concert? Because what else is the cellist going to do? I mean, he's not going to just sit there for 13 minutes. You have to give him something else. You'd have to do like the Brook Cold Nidra or some sort of one movement cello thing, maybe Holst Invocation. That might be fun. But, you know, you need something that's like 10 to 15 minutes long to make up the difference in time. I mean, there are little concertino-like things and short works for solo and orchestra that never get played. And that's the reason they never get played, because you're stuck. You're stuck with this tiny little thing. And, and the Honegger Cello Concerto is really a fascinating work. It's, it's very jazzy. I mean, really, really jazzy. You know, it's yada, 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 do, do, do. And then it has this sort of ya da 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 ya da 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 da. I mean, it's really, really kind of almost Gershwin esque in places. A lovely work. I mean, when you hear it, you really want to like wish you wish it were longer. You actually do, which is kind of rare. You know, most of the time we wish things would be over more quickly. But this is one of those pieces that that really. Really, I mean, it doesn't have a wasted note anywhere. And so what you get, again, are all three of these cello concertos, wonderfully played by Johannes Moser. And it's a great way to find them because, you, you, you know, usually you wind up having to get collections dedicated to that specific composer. But when they only wrote one work, Martin knew you can get discs of the two cello concertos, but the Honegger cello concerto, the Hindemith cello concerto, you don't find them easily um, unless you're buying 
you know, collections dedicated to that composer. So this is a really smart way to pick up three fabulous 20th century cello concertos, and I, I recommend it very highly on that basis. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.